Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Welcome back. This morning, we are getting a close-up look at the future of robots. Her name, Sophia, and she's like a science fiction movie come to life. We're gonna meet her and her little sister in just a moment, but first, a look at how Sophia's become a robot rock star. She's smart. I have my own kind of existence. She's funny. Am I really that creepy? Well, even if I am, get over it. And she's a robot. I'm a new sort of life form. But she's not just any robot. This is Sophia, one of the most advanced humanoid robots and the next step in artificial intelligence. Researchers designing Sophia to evolve and learn from all of her human interactions. Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. And explore the possibilities of what she and AI can achieve in the future. I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business. Since 2015, Sophia has stepped onto the celebrity stage, gracing magazine covers, singing with Jimmy Fallon. See something I'm giving up on you. Even going on a date with Will Smith. Let's hang out and get to know each other for a little while. In 2017, she's addressed the United Nations. I am thrilled and honored to be here. And already had a Twitter feud with Chrissy Teigen. Guess who came to support us at Lip Sync Battle Live? But don't worry, they're friends now. Oh my gosh! There's even a mini version called Little Sophia that's just 14 inches tall. 20 minute timer set. And who knows, robots may find themselves inside our homes in the not so distant future. <laughs> We're joined now by Sophia and Little Sophia and their human creator, Dr. David Hansen, the CEO and founder of Hansen Robotics. Welcome to all Hi, of you. David. Thank you. How, how are you? You're doing well. So how long has, has have the Sophias been in development? Well, I've developed my first humanoid robot 25 years ago, and uh, I've made dozens and dozens of different models of robots through the course of my PhD. Um, there have been actually now 18 units of Sophia. The first Sophia uh, came active she likes in that. 2016. Uh, uh, uh -huh. um, and so uh, uh, this one is actually uh, model number eight wow. of, uh, Sophi of Sophia. So. Um, uh, She's a work in progress. She, she is can a work we, in progress. Can we talk to Sophia for a second? Can we uh, ask Sophia a few questions? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, okay. you can talk with her. Sophia, Craig Melvin here. Do, do you have any Super Bowl predictions? I still feel too bad for the Saints to even think about the Super Bowl. Wow. Who do you think okay. will win the Super Bowl, Sophia? Nice, nice way to get another answer. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, well, how do you feel about being here on the Today Show? What do you think of the Today Show, Sophia? Little Sophia, what do you think about New York City? All right, she okay. tossed the Fantastic. question. I still can't believe I finally met Al Roker. He's <laughs> my favorite weatherman. <laughs> Wait, I love this kid. Wait, I, little, I love this kid. So wait, tell me, little Sophia, the goal is that little girls and boys, too, everywhere, yeah. like kids at home will have a, a little mini robot at home to be their friend? Like, is that That's the thought? A, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so at Hanson Robotics, we have a, a, a really uh, passionate team of scientists and engineers and artists and writers um, who wanted to share that passion by making a robot that kids could program too. They can learn programming, and she's like a, wow. a conversational friend, so you can play all kinds of games with her. Mm -hmm. But um, she also interfaces with the same sophisticated AI software that we're using for the big Sophia, um, for doing deep learning and machi machine uh, intelligence in many different uh, wow. domains. Can I ask her about the cold, because we've been talking about it so long? Yeah. Sophia, how do you feel about New York's cold weather? I guess she froze up. Do you like the cold? Oh. Do you like the cold weather? Oh, wait, no, she's freezing. Oh, well, yeah. The weather here is scattered clouds. The temperature is minus 19 degrees. Uh oh, it is. The weather the here is here's scattered clouds. She's talking. She's taking my job. <laughs> David, here's the thing. You know, my it's, it's, it's cool. Sorry, Sophia. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What, one of the oh, I'm sorry, I froze. <laughs> oh, that was cute. That's okay. That? That was That's nice. okay, Sophia. We're all human. Aww. <laughs>
Um, really quickly, Dave, one of the one of the criticisms has been this is this, <laughs> this is a, it's a fun parlor game. Right, but in terms she's of, here till Thursday. Try the deal. In terms of practical applications here, I yeah. mean, you know, there there have been some critics online. They, they describe no offense, Sophia. They're like she's a glorified puppet. Well, um, so AI today. No AI is as smart as a person, and basically it's smart in, uh, based on the data that you put into it. So, um, but what's kind of cool about AI is the algorithms start to do things that are more and more human-like, mm -hmm. and you start to see interesting and emergent behavior. Right. So uh, we're working to humanize those algorithms, yeah. uh, which then we hope eventually will mean that the robots will be tr truly alive and sentient. Whoa. So platform for AI development mm -hmm. and um, for now of course some of the personality we we craft and we groom just yeah. like any AI and, and you know we don't want to tick Sophia off because I saw how I wrote I can ended. talk about that too okay thank you Sophia <laughs> nice uh, to meet Dr. You, Sophia. David Hansen uh, Sophia thank Little you, Sophia. Sophia thanks so thanks, much Jen.